Hello everyone, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Numerologist, and welcome to Star Codes. Now today we're going to look at a subject that I absolutely love. It's the number 21. Not only because September in 2019 is a 21 universal month, but because we are, of course, in the 21st century. So this number is actually really important and it has a very beautiful, profound meaning. 21 is an important journey that we're all taking that has to do with truth. In fact, the ancient Egyptians had a star code and they numbered the numbers 1 through 42. The 42 gateways is what they called them. And 21 was the gateway of truth. The truth shall set you free. Now, 2019 is a 12 universal year. And 12 and 21 are reverse mirrored of each other. Where 12 has the 1 and the 2. The 21 has the tw 2 and the 1. So that actually makes a difference. Just like with your name, whatever your first letter is, is more profoundly important than the second letter. And so whereas 12 begins with number one and then has the two, so one plus two equals three, the 21 has two plus one. So 12 translates as you, the unique individual, the number one individual expression that is unique to you, dancing in relationship, which is the two with divine intelligence and creating bliss as a result. And so one plus two equals three. Now 21 on the other hand starts with the two and then goes to the one. So it means you and source, you and the divine intelligence are joined to begin with. That trust is there from the get go and you're joined as one and that's where the one comes in so and then it translates to the number three two plus one equals three which is bliss and happiness so this is why the number 12 represents education because you're moving from that individual expression and learning to connect to source learning to establish that trust to create that inner joy whereas the 21 has that truth of connection, connecting to source built in. So that's why 21 represents truth because the truth shall set you free is if you just trust your connection with God at all times, with source, with divine intelligence, with the universe, with the cosmos, if you trust that, then you are one to begin with. And so that is instant happiness and so really trusting that you are one with all and never dividing from source is living in truth. So 21 is our gateway to truth and also freedom. The number three, which 21 reduces to, is about freedom of expression. Now it takes responsibility, it takes dedication to take this journey of truth. It is a journey, it is a process, it is an experience. It is not something that you can just think about and create. It is actually the result of being free, being connected. So today we're going to cover the meaning of the 21st century, why we have all incarnated on earth at this time, and how the process from truth to bliss works why living in a state of happiness and joy is an actual experience and how 21 then actually symbolizes the birth of a new creation. So you can see how important this century is. And at the end, I'm going to give you some tips on how to leverage this number 21 of truth in your personal and professional life. So remember when you were young and your parents taught you about what the difference is between truth and lying. And it had to do with telling the truth if you did something that was wrong or whatever, you have to tell the truth, right? What did you do? You need to tell the truth and that's what truth is. Well, actually, truth is beyond what we say, what we write about. It is actually not the words we say. 
It is the energy behind the words that actually matters because as you realize, there are many people who will say many things, but they will not actually be experiencing those words as they share them. So it's how you hold that space for truth, that space for life, actually. How are you holding life in your own experience? How are you holding light and love when you are speaking, when you are writing, when you are sharing something? So don't just get hung up on what you hear from somebody or what you yourself are saying, what you are reading, that can actually be very deceptive. So much that is said holds different energy than the words actually convey. So the truth actually is alive within you. And when you are connected to source, when you are trusting that we are all one, you will not be fearful of sharing the actual integrity, the actual truth of where you are. So truth is very inclusive because it understands that whoever you're engaging with is part of you. That is 21. You're already together. You're already, you know, two equals one. We're, we're in this as one whole, you know, experience. We're not separate, in other words. So truth is, is inclusive. It doesn't discriminate. If you set yourself apart as separate, as better, as worse, as higher, as lower, as exclusive, you have left truth behind because you've separated from source. Remember, we are all one. So it's how you are being in the moment that you are expressing yourself when the words are spoken. So for example, being separate means that you would tend to argue your point or you feel like you're in opposition to someone. You're not striving to be in harmony and connecting with them by joining their perspective. Because truth is not something that is verbal. Truth is not even something you do. It's not action. It is how you're being when you are speaking those words. How are you being when you're doing? So you can create from a very, very high place of vibration when you are in, tr in touch with that truth of not being separate, being completely inclusive. Or you can create from a place of total unawareness. So one way to learn about truth is to look at nature because Mother Earth is a great teacher. And so Mother Earth shows us through gravity, what goes up must come down, and through the cycles of the seasons, that everything is cyclical. We get born, we live, we die, we reconnect, get born, live, and die, right? So uh, just like life and death on with plants and with everything on Earth, everything is cyclical, everything is connected, everything is inclusive. Everything is a circle, right? So nothing exists in a vacuum. It's impossible. Everything is interdependent. And that's what nature teaches us. And this is the truth that sets us free. So we need to apply that truth to ourselves, our own lives, and allow everyone else, their space, to find the truth. And then we, we have to get into that place of awareness of what it feels like to actually be connected plugged in, not disconnected, always tuned in. Now Shakespeare, probably the most famous quote of Shakespeare's is to be or not to be, that is the question. Now how about we add one word to that? How about we say how to be and how not to be, that is the question. When you say it that way, you focus on the being more because it really is how you're doing everything that matters. So let's say you feel pain in any way and 
what you need to understand about pain, frustration, anger, is that you're being asked to go more deeply. You're being asked to find the source of the pain, the root of the pain, the truth of its origins, because nothing is in a vacuum. If there is pain, we need to be detectives of truth, find the source, right? So if you are in touch with the truth, you understand that you are the solution. You actually are being the solution. You will be the healing for the pain. You will go deeply into the subconscious in whichever way you need to. It may take time, it may take years, it may take lifetimes even, but you will embrace the fact that there is a truth behind the pain and that you are the origin of it. And so you will not push it away. You will not try to medicate the pain and you will not try to exclude what you discover because you will discover if you go on the journey of truth you will discover right so you will discover and uncover secrets and mysteries that will set you free and that is really where the joy comes because you will have found your greatest gift which is that you have the power within you to always connect and always be given what it is you need so the byproduct of doing that is bliss, is joy, is happiness. And this is why the number 21 of truth also reduces to three, which is the number of joy, self-expression, creation. Now, the more pain that you feel, the more need there is for you to go to a place where there is release of what is not working, what is not for your highest good, so that you can feel synchronized again. There is something there that is creating an obstacle, creating a separation, a wall. And so you can't see straight and you need to take those blocks down. You need to remove what that is and bring back that connection because wholeness is truth. Holistic living is truth, right? Holistic living means you are accepting everything that is happening to you as an extension of how you're being. And that acceptance is vital. It's absolutely vital to live in a state of acceptance for truth to flourish. So you need to accept what you uncover. You need to embrace what you discover and also what you recover, your memories, for example. And that absolute acceptance melts away all attachments. Now, those attachments have been created by us to keep us separate from the truth. We get attached to things in order to feel more alive, in order to have a direction, right? So. If you feel any kind of resistance to living in this moment right now, then go investigate. What is the resistance? What is the attachment? It's like an obstacle in the road. To be able to glide effortlessly, to drive again, right? You accept the truth of whatever impediment is there and you consciously remove it, even if it's an actual action to remove something, right? So in order to move forward, it really helps to know how the truth is revealed for you personally, because it is revealed the moment that you were born. And that truth will also set you free because it reveals your purpose and your destiny. So I highly recommend that you discover your own destiny, your own divine code, by going to starcodeclass.com because that truth will also set you free. And it is a free class, speaking of free. So you just go to starcodeclass.com and you'll discover how you were designed to manifest optimal results, how you were designed to discover truth in the most joyful way. So now the question is, how do we live consciously in this place of truth? Well, you have a great invitation in this 21st century to do that, not just for the next 81 years or so, almost, you know, 80 years now, 
but also a heightened invitation in September 2019 because September is going to be a 21 universal month. And so this is really, really exciting because when we have a 2121 code, it's a double three as well. And any double code is an intensification of the message. It's a really profound opportunity to understand that truth is not something that lives in your imagination. That truth is not something you do or even something you create. That truth is a way of being, a way of realizing you literally are living in a constant state of oneness. So you're downloading all the time. So it comes through observation, intense observation, listening, intense listening. You know, the number two, which begins the number 21 is the listening. That is the connection to source is you're actually understanding you're, you're on this journey together. You're not alone. You're at one. So that observation and listening creates a response in you. And that response becomes a responsibility. And the responsibility is that you must understand that you are here to always elevate your life by listening, that there is growth, just like in nature. There's the sun, there's the rain, the, the flower looks up, it elevates, it grows. You are responsible for listening and understanding more and more. So the universal truth of the number 21 is also in the root number three, two plus one equals three. So that means your, your life, your body, your brain, your emotional state, all function at their highest capacity when you feel good when you feel well. So the really important part of this, how you get into a place of truth is you want to focus your energy on being joyful or becoming joyful. What does that mean to you? Because feeling happy, expressing yourself in a joyful way creates a flow and that flow reveals the solutions because when you're in a state of flow, you're actually moving in a very effortless way towards the wisdom that you are seeking. And when you don't feel happy, when you feel crappy, <laughs> right? You do the opposite because when you don't feel good, it the energy is muddled and it creates more obstacles, more challenges, more problems. It even attracts those because you're in that state. When you're in a place of joy, you're not trying to fill the void because you are already filling the void with joy. You're not yearning for something outside of yourself to come and rescue you. A happy person feels well and is not even easily distracted or compulsively getting attached, being rigid in any way. And this is why that quote from Shakespeare, to be or not to be, is literally what you want to ask, how to be and how not to be. Because one brings happiness and one brings misery and separation. So it's not to seek happiness outside of yourself, especially in your relationships. I mean, that's one of the big codependencies. Co means two, that is that is a separation, codependency. When you're interdependent, you're interdimensional, you are literally not in that place of expectation. So not to seek happiness outside of yourself and instead to be just, just to say, I am happy. I am happy. So when you see things in your life as they actually appear. You see the people, you see the situations, you see your environment without wishing they were different, without ignoring any part of it. And you're literally accepting what it is that, it, that you're seeing. Then you will receive the solution on how to proceed. Then the answers will be there because when the truth appears, you will be present to receive it. And that moment is inevitable when you are conscious. 
So living in the moment, not escaping the moment in any way, is that state of acceptance that allows you to accept truth. So not avoiding living your life completely, fully, consciously. And when you really consider this, you will truly see that the only moment that matters is right now. This moment right now is the one that's filled with potential, how you are being right now. This is the moment that sets you free. There's no other moment, <laughs> right? So being conscious, living in the present is living in truth. And that allows you to feel blissful and good and well and happy because you're connected. And you will feel that happiness within yourself and it will inspire those around you because you're like a light bulb that's plugged in. They want to be near the light, right? So being in the truth is your source of joy. So pay attention to how you are being and you will always be connected. Don't say no to what you find. Invest in feeling wonderful. Invest in that track. Invest in being conscious and being trusting and being connected. And you feel, will feel that bliss that the number 21 reduces to the number three. The bliss, the self-expression, the joy, the being of light, the creation, the creator, right? That is really the point. So 21 is the key to freedom. And understanding that number, understanding what the truth shall set you free means is really why we are all here. So thank you so much for joining me on today's Star Code podcast. And like I said, go discover your own personal code. It is really vital to understanding who you are at soul level. What is that spark inside of you? What does it all mean? What is your destiny? What is your purpose? It's revealed in your birthday, your birth name, the numbers in your astrology chart, and even more. So just go to starcodeclass.com. It's a free masterclass. I hope you enjoy it. And I wish you an absolutely wonderful week. And I'll see you next week in our next Star Code podcast. Bye-bye for now.